Hello, my Pisces friends. This is an X reading to see if it's likely that you guys will reunite, come back together, make up, you know, any of that. You can just come back together and decide to be friends. So we're going to see what's going on for you, Pisces, and your ex. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, you guys, so of course it's not going to resonate for everyone, but take out of it what you need, what applies to you, and leave the rest where it is, okay? So, let's see. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, let's get this thing crack a lacking, all right? Here we go. Pisces, your ex, what you want, what they want. What you need, what they need. Anyone else involved? <clears throat> All right, Pisces. Let's see. I feel for a lot of you that you, um, and this has nothing to do with love, but I just get this strongly that a lot of you have um, possibly opened up daycare centers, home daycare centers. Um, working with children, working with other people, but I feel strongly daycare centers here and um, just working with people, you know, being very lighthearted, being very lighthearted, being very, you know, kid-like here. All right. Lots of children involved, working together. Um, building something okay now as far as love is concerned and your ex um, this is you because we go from three to six um, you're focused on having this um, this relationship with this person or somebody's focused on having this relationship with you and making it stronger than ever is what I feel. Stronger than ever. But I guess I get the sense that um, one of you is taking a time out here. One of you is really taking a time out here. And I don't feel like you're speaking to each other at all. Like, at all. Um, one of you is willing and the other one of you is, has removed yourself, um, not from the connection, but just taking some time out to reflect on how to make this happen. This is thinking constantly, daydreaming about how to make this happen. How can I make this happen? What do I need to do to make this happen? Well, you know what they need to do this side? Change the way that they think, change the way that they do things, whatever it is that brought this relationship to a halt. It needs to be shut down and turned around transform okay and I feel like this individual over here that's more than willing to work on this thing just needs to be there needs, needs to be open minded needs to be willing to hear this person out and then proceed of course, in a cautious way, because the pages are very cautious. They don't just jump into things, okay? They kind of sit back and observe and plan and say, hey, okay, I see something here, so I'll inch a little forward, you know, a little bit forward, and, you know, but I'm going to stay right here now because I still got to keep an eye out on this just to make sure that everything is everything, okay? All right, so is there anyone else involved? I don't think so. I think it's strictly this person for you, or whoever this is on this side, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. Um, no, I think it's strictly the relationship 
the time that you guys have spent together, have been together in the past. Um, no, no. This is thinking about what you guys can still have. That's still there. Those feelings are still there and present. Now, I think this person is trying to balance their, the, really, I feel like this person is trying to balance their mental with their heart is what I'm feeling. It's like, it's a, it's a constant pull. They are, they, they're trying to rationalize way too much, I feel like, instead of going for what they know and what they want on this side. I don't think they're balancing anybody else. I think they're constantly thinking about, you know, what's going on, you know, what could be going on between the two of you, how you guys can get back together because they want that Ten of Cups. They want it with you. Um, but they're constantly thinking about reminiscing about things with between the two of you, but then saying, no, you know, it's probably not going to happen. They're probably not going to take me back. You know, there's there's too much water under the bridge. All right? That's what I think about when I see that. Too much water under the bridge. Too much hurt that has, that has been circulated. Um, they're probably not going to take me back. I shouldn't think about them. I shouldn't even think about this because it's probably not going to work. They need to kill that. All right? So let's see if this is... All right. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of you, and in Pisces, I, you know, I just feel like it's you. One of you carries the emotional baggage more than the other one, for sure. One of you has enough love for the both of you, but that's not how relationships work. <clears throat> so, I feel like this person transforms this energy into a nice mix then it could definitely definitely work out because there is lots of love between the two of you it really is it really is all right so pisces this is what i have for you for um december 20th through the 26th and i'll speak with you soon bye now